Well, Intel, they're launching a new product, X-ray-like glasses that allow you to wear, that you can wear to, quote, see inside objects. It's a helmet. It's allowing the wearer to overlay maps, uh, schematics, thermal images, to see effectively through walls and pipes and other solid objects. The glasses are built into this helmet, and they give the X-ray-like vision to those using it. There's something called RealSense. It's a 3D camera. Let me get this straight. Now you can see through walls and pipes, and God knows what else. Is this good or bad? I mean, it all depends on how you use it. I think this is a very exciting time. This week is the kickoff of CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, the biggest trade show in America, happens in Las Vegas, and a lot of technology products are presented. These are one of the breakthroughs that they are trying to, you know, break into this goggle virtual reality headset mode that everybody's trying to come up with innovations. But this one, I see a lot of positive implications, but like you mentioned too, there's there's some obvious possible uses for it. They're saying, so this was actually unveiled at the CES in Las Vegas, and it was co-developed by an augmented company, an augmented reality company. And what they said they're going to do, you know, unlike Google Glass and, and uh, HoloLens, those are marketed to consumers. They want this to have an industrial use. I can, I'm left, my imagination is left. To, okay, yeah. what, what in the crap does that mean? We're going to be seeing TSA with these helmets on? I hope not, because then possible. It's everywhere they look. Uh, but imagine a situation where you have firefighters, and they have to see where the pipes are, if they have to break a wall. You have that thermal that imaging of, scan. Exactly. Right. You have those elements. I think that's very positive. Again, technology, it's always been a debate. If technology can be judged on moral grounds, I don't think so. I think that technology is something that, that evolves as we go, but the uses of technology are, you know, they're human uses. So at the end, it's a person that decides how to use this technology that incurs in, in evil or, or not. One of the uh, co-makers of this product, um, this is what she had to say about it. She said, the Daiquiri Smart Helmet is a great example of integrating advanced human-machine interface into existing devices to make something smart and to solve a potential problem. This is coming from Bridget Carlin. She's the managing director of Intel's Internet of Things Strategy Office. Excuse me, she's not a creator. She just manages this aspect. Mm -hmm. And look, she's saying we're going to we're going to use this with other devices, and and I, again, this leaves a lot to the imagination. It is the future of technology, like you mentioned, the Internet of Things, all of these devices that can be connected to the databases in the cloud and allowing information to be superimposed to our field of vision. I think uh, in the future we all have to bring our own. Uh, hub display telling us additional well, information of what we see. This, uh, these X-ray goggles have an industrial use, according to their company. And um, hey, you know what? X-ray vision coming to a TSA near you.